Those who love it will eat its fruit. Look at verse 18 and 21 of Proverbs. It says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Oh, yeah. You go ahead and gossip. You go ahead and put down and talk about your brother or your sister. Amen. Tell your side. Amen. But you know what? The Bible says that you'll reap what you sow. What it says. See, we need to be careful. We need to understand that God wants us to walk in love and forgiveness. Sometimes we don't have to understand to say okay. There's been times Brother Johnny and I have disagreed, but we learned to agree to disagree. Amen? Yep, amen. I realize that I'm not always right. And Johnny's realized at times he's not always right. Amen, brother. Me too. Amen. But we know who he is, right? Amen. And God will take care of it. Amen. In his time, he'll take care of it in his own special kind of way. Amen. If we we'll just learn to be the children of God that God's called us to be. I can tell you today, amen. Solomon said, the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat fruit thereof. I wanted to read the rest of this. Uh, you will eat your word, you'll reap that the harvest that you sow, good or bad, bottom of the line, you're looking for fault and looking in the mirror. You're looking for fault, so look in the mirror. When you work on your own shortcomings, you'll have no time left to gossip about anybody else. Amen. So what we really need to realize today, amen, is I can tell you I don't have time to try to clean you up. I Come have on, brother. problems with myself. Amen. I can't clean myself up, Brother Johnny, but I know a man that can. Amen. I know. I, and if I'll, I'll stay at his feet and keep myself humble before him and let him be in control. Amen. He'll lead God and direct me. And if he'll do that for me, Sister Rita, he'll do it for you. Amen. I, I can say that I thank God I don't have a whole lot of loss in my family any longer. Amen. Most everyone is saved, but I do still have a few. That I care dearly about. We want them to come in too, brother. Yes, we I do. I want them to know that Jesus loves them. I want to be a witness to them when I get around them, amen, and be able to speak truth to them, something that they would believe. I can't make them eat the Word of God and receive it. I can't force people. But if I live the life that God's called me to live, amen, and I'll be the child of God that he wants me to be, God said he would give me the very words to say in that very yes. hour, amen. And I believe God's word to be true, amen. I know God will not let me down, and he won't let you down either, Sister Diane. God has already impacted your home and your family, amen with the truth, amen, and it's starting to show, amen, you're starting to see results. It's because you've made a stand to put God first in your life, amen. And if we'll make a stand and put God first, amen, get self out of the way. Yield ourselves unto the Comforter and let the Spirit of God rule and reign in your life. Amen. amen, brother. Don't give place and be caught up in a web. Amen. Be caught up talking about your brother or sister or anyone else for, for that fact. You're going to talk about someone, talk about Jesus and how great he is. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Lord. 
God will bless you for it. Amen. I hope you got something this morning out of this morning's lesson. Appreciate each and every one of you. I'm closing right there. I feel that the Spirit of God is lifted. And I want to say this this morning, amen. I had a, had a lot of other scripture to go to. There was one more, I believe I'd like to read if I can get to it real quickly, amen. If George makes his way up. <coughs> James 4 and 11 says, Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil of law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. One more verse. 1 Peter 2 and 1 says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guilt and hypocrisy and envy, and all evil speaking. Amen. We need to be God's children of God. Amen. Not evil children of God. Amen. Godly children of God. Amen. Love one another. You see, see me doing something wrong? Come to me and talk to me about it. If I don't want to receive it, that's not your problem. Your problem is, is if you don't come and talk to me about it. Man, the Bible says that we're our brother's keeper. There was a time that I chose to go down here to a place to eat downtown. And working on the Fred Field. I run down there and ate breakfast that morning. I got to church and Sister Sandra and LaVon was all right. Where are you been? I said, well, I went down here at such and such and they said, well, I wasn't going there. LaVon said, no, I wasn't going there either. That, you don't need to be in there. I said, why not? Well, it's because it's not a good place to eat. I thought, well, ain't nothing wrong. I just went in there and sat down and ate breakfast. Yeah, but people see you down there and they affiliate you with that place in the church and that's not good for the church. I said, well, God tells me not go down there. I won't go down there. I don't see nothing wrong with that. My, that was my remark. Why? Because to me, I thought it was all right. But God convicted me. A week later, I was apologizing. I hadn't been in there since. Amen. I'm telling you it's important that we be a brother's keeper. Amen. It's important that we learn to pray for one another, not talk about one another. That we encourage one another to do the right thing, not to do the wrong thing. Amen. Be the child of God that God's called you to be. Go outside these doors and be a difference maker. A lot of times Colin thinks I ride him too hard. I'm just too tough. He says mean. But you know what? I don't want him to grow up like I did, Sister Shirley. I want him to grow up and walk in God's blessings. Amen. Be who God wants him to be. Amen. Because he matters to me. Amen. And you matter to me, whether you think you do or not. I'm here to tell you today, Sister Diane, you matter to me. Amen. Really, you matter to me. Come on. Matter to me. Sister Sue. Renee. Matter to me. You and Johnny, tomorrow y'all matter to me. Yes, Colin, you matter to me. Courtney, Melinda, Jane, and Happy, y'all matter to me. Man, Eric, Erica, you and Dustin, and Caleb matter to me. Dustin, you matter to me. Sister Shirley, y'all matter to me. 
Well, Cletus Manners. Be with you, Brother George. They say they say the best for last. Amen. I'm a hearty last, girl. You didn't mention Leslie. So you know. I did mention Leslie. Okay, I missed that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I had not miss two others in here. I don't know where little Leo is. But him and Jacob matter to me. Amen. Stephen and Gabby, they matter to me. They do. Amen. There's others that I hadn't mentioned that come here, but they matter to me. Amen. We need to be the family of God that God's called us to be. Amen. Learn to work together. We're going to have our differences. Everybody does. Amen. But we need to learn to deal with them. Amen. And deal with them in a way that God's pleased with. Amen. Don't be entangled in a spider's web of gossip and overcome it. Amen. Love one another. Pray one for another. And let God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember to come back tonight. Be here at quarter till. Amen. And come in and pray. Amen. Go on let Brother Cletus give the word tonight. Amen. Y'all pray for Brother Cletus today. Yes. Brother Cletus is going to come and he's going to handle service tonight. Amen. It's been a while. He's due. Amen. Yes, he is. Let's remember him today and lift him up. Amen. Lift one another up. Amen. God's made a mighty move in his body in the last month or two. I tell you what. Amen. 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 Father God, we just thank you today, Lord, knowing that you are our Lord and our Master, God. We want to please you, God, and not please self, God. God, whatever it takes, God, to help us to be the children of God that you call us to be, God. God, help us to be that child, God, that you call us to be, God. I just praise you and I glorify you today. Ask you to go with us. Be God and direct us. Bring us back safely at the appointed time, and we'll give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shake hands and be friendly. Amen.
That's what I do every day. I eat my sleep first, and then I have a can of and then I can eat. Uh, believe it or not, you, you, if you fix it up the way you like it, you can put anything you want in it as long as it ain't no fatty. You know, I use bullion cubes. Yeah. Check out a big bullion cubes. Uh, 